Welcome to this short video on flexor tendon rehabilitation. It will guide you through what a flexor tendon is, how they are repaired and the pathway of rehabilitation you will take after your surgery. Here we have a model of a tendon to show you how it works to move your fingers. The tendons that you have damaged are called flexor tendons and they work together to enable you to make a fist. You have two of these tendons to each finger. One is called your FDS tendon. This inserts into your middle bone of the finger. The other is called the FDP tendon and this inserts onto the end bone of your finger. When you use your muscle in your forearm, it pulls on the tendons in your hand and enables you to bend your fingers and make a fist. You can see how this tendon glides to make a fist position. Tendons run through ligaments called pulleys, which are situated on the front of the hand. They stop the tendons from lifting away from the bone, enabling you to actively move your fingers into the palm. We will now show you what happens when your tendon has been cut. As the muscle in the forearm works, the finger does not bend. This is what will happen in your own hand. As you try to bend the finger, the tendon pulls and springs down into the palm of your hand. Tendons are repaired with stitches. The needle passes through one end of the tendon to the other, bringing the two ends together. Sometimes an extra running stitch may need to be placed around the outside of the finger to hold the tendon together. The repair is strong, but not as strong as a healthy normal tendon. Your therapist will work with you to ensure your tendon is protected. After surgery, you will be given a temporary cast to protect your surgical repairs. You will also be given a sling to take home with you. It is important to continue with any pain medication or antibiotics that your doctor has prescribed. You should also keep your arm raised above your heart to reduce any swelling in your hand. Please do not move your fingers unless you are told to do so by a therapist or a doctor. You will be given a therapy appointment before you are discharged from hospital where you will discuss exercises to help with your recovery. Your splint will be made from a thermoplastic material that goes soft when put in hot water and then hardens as it cools down to take the correct shape. This splint will protect the injured tendon. The splint stops the finger straightening. If you straighten your fingers, you may break or rupture the tendon. You should wear your splint for six weeks to allow your tendon to heal. In the first six weeks after surgery, you will only be able to move your hand when completing the exercises shown later in this video. You will need to do each of the exercises 10 times every hour. You should keep your hand in the splint for these exercises and only remove it for washing. You will now be shown three exercises you are required to do to help with your tendon recovery. You should do 10 of each of these three exercises every hour for the next six weeks. For the first exercise, using your non-injured hand, you are going to push the joints of your finger into the palm of your hand. You should not push your fingers back into the splint. This exercise is used to keep the joints nice and supple. It acts as a warm-up exercise before moving the tendon. The more supple your joints are, the easier it will be to actively move them. The second exercise is an active movement. This movement encourages your injured tendon to start moving for itself. For this exercise, place the fingers of your non-injured hand at the bottom of the palm of your injured hand. The fingers of the injured hand should then bend towards your non-injured hand. You should not fully bend your fingers as this would strain the repair. Only bend the fingers halfway. The last exercise is designed to prevent your middle joints from becoming stiff. To complete this exercise, you will need to push your knuckle joints from the back of your hand as shown in the video, then straighten them. 
Six weeks after your surgery, we will remove your splint and you will be taught different exercises to enable you to use your hand for light functional activities, such as brushing your teeth, washing and dressing yourself and tying your shoes. No heavy or resisted use of your hand is allowed at this time. Ten weeks after your surgery, your tendons are strong enough to start using your hand for heavier functional activities. Your therapist will advise you as your recovery progresses. You are also able to return to driving at 10 weeks, as long as you are able to grip the steering wheel. At 12 weeks, you can start using your hand for more. For example, weight training, sports or other leisure activities. To discuss any problems you may have with your hand therapy treatment, please contact the Upper Limb Therapy Department at the Queen Elizabeth Hospital on 0121 371 3488